Welcome home everyone. Today I would like to answer one of your questions. And the, the question today is, my friend has prayed for a breakthrough in their financial struggle, but it hasn't been answered. Should I continue to help financially, even though I think it might make them dependent on me? Oh, from this question, I assume that what, what is happening is that somebody is helping financially someone else that is in trouble. Wow, uh, the person that helps is uh, has a very good heart. I, I believe that you are a good person and I support the way that you are willing to help. Uh, let me quote a Bible first that says this, Matthew 25, verse 40 says this, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels for i was hungry and you gave me nothing to eat i was thirsty and you gave me nothing to drink i was a stranger and you did not invite me in i needed clothes and you did not clothe me i was sick and in prison and you did not look after me therefore whoever that you help in this life God is basically saying that he will consider it as if you are helping God himself. Therefore, what you did was a very good thing. But I'm going to give you a wisdom, a pastoral wisdom. During your help, if you help financially, I believe if you're praying for him as well, so spiritually helping him, but also financially helping him. Uh, I, I'm gonna give you a pastoral wisdom is that do not make it as your burden. So do not make it as if this is your whole responsibility. The financial struggle that that person is having is his responsibility or their responsibility not your responsibility when you help if it's because you're giving it out of compassion and because you're giving help because you're following the bible as if you're helping god himself but do not let it burden your own financial situation if it burdens you please consider of decreasing or not giving uh, total help in a way. I agree that you should not make this person dependent upon you financially. In the end, our job is to usher everyone to be dependent upon God himself. We should not replace God as the one that helps them we should assure them and make them understand that God is the one that helps them. We are just the expression of God's help. We are the one that kind of hold their hands so that in the end, God will hold their hands themselves. So I'm praying that you can guide them financially for a while or help them financially for a while, but spiritually you should guide them so that they will be dependent upon the Lord. And let's, let us pray together, you and me, pray for that person so that they will receive a breakthrough in their financial struggle so that it will not burden you or burden them. So in the end, I commend you for your help for these people who are having a financial struggle, but do not burden it until 
your own financial uh, situation becomes in trouble. You should help out of your abundance. So if you can spare uh, some financial resources, of course you can help him. But do not make it a burden so that you, uh, you're not, you become irresponsible to your own financial needs or your family's financial needs. You should also be responsible for your own financial needs as well. This is just a wisdom. But once again, it's commendable that you are helping other people in need. But let us guide them so that they can become independent, both spiritually and financially, towards God, not towards us. We are just, once again, an usher to help um, uh, in a temporary situation so that in the end, they will hold on to God themselves. We are just like a nanny for, for a temporary time. We're holding them, taking care of them until they understand that God is the true helper. God is the true uh, financial provider. We are just a tool or an expression of God's love and care in this life. So God bless you. Hopefully you find this wisdom and I pray you shall receive financial uh, breakthrough and that person, the other, your friend, also receive financial breakthrough. It is in my heart so that anyone who is listening shall receive the word of God from this Proverbs 29 verse 18 that says, where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. But blessed is the one who heeds wisdom's instruction. I would like everyone to receive the revelation of God for his life, for his future from the Bible. So that anyone who still has reservation or question, let's ask that question through the link below so that I can answer that question. Uh, any reservation shall hopefully shall be answered through the Bible, through the Word of God, so that we can guide you, so that you can grow and receive whatever that is in store for you in the future. God bless you.